So a biopsy is a way of taking a sample of tissue um, from the patient and then give it to the pathologist who will then look at it under the microscope and that is how the diagnosis of cancer is made. Most of the time um, biopsies are done uh, percutaneously. So in other words, uh, an abnormality is identified on imaging. Sometimes the patient feels the abnormality and then the imaging kind of confirms the area of concern. Uh, sometimes the areas are found even before they're able to be felt which is really what we would prefer, obviously, because typically would mean a smaller abnormality. So the most common type of biopsy that most people begin with is a core needle biopsy, either using mammogram as a guide, what's called a stereotactic biopsy, or ultrasound as a guide. The breast is in a mammographic machine, and then the radiologist will numb up the skin, take a needle, thread it to the area that they can see on mammogram, and then through that, they take the cylinders of tissue out. An ultrasound guided biopsy is a little bit simpler because you don't have to be in a mammogram and the position's more comfortable. And they put a probe on the skin and then we can see the lesion or the mass, the abnormality with the ultrasound and then the radiologist again will numb up the skin and then take those cores of tissue using a needle of the area we can see with the ultrasound. There are also surgical biopsies and a surgical biopsy is when we have something that we don't feel that the core needle biopsy is enough to make the diagnosis. We want to take more of that area to give enough tissue to the pathologist to then make a better diagnosis. Usually people can go back to work if not the same day the next day. Um, it should be minor discomfort. They use uh, numbing medicine during the procedure. Usually they'll have you know, an ice pack or a, a bit of a more supportive broad aware just to help with any discomfort afterwards. But really it's, it's a pretty um, very well tolerated procedure.